welcome to the next edition of Pat Break Happy Hour. I'm especially excited to do this one because this is a retro Friday pack break. We've got packs from what a lot of people derisively call the junk wax era, um, but uh, they're still available and this was something that I got from my secret Santa. This was the perfect gift for me. It's got um, NFL football from Score 1990, Series 1 and 2, Upper Deck High Series, NHL Hockey for 90-91, and Top Stadium Club, first series for 91 and then finally 1993 baseball Donruss baseball these were widely available because of all the speculation and the growth of the uh, baseball and football and just trading card industry in general including Pokemon cards and um, that kind of led to a crash in both the card collecting and comic book industry as people were speculating and and hoping that their packs would contain the the next best next card that would put their kids through college and here we are 30 years later and I have a whole bunch of cards to open up um, that not many of them are actually worth anything we'll go through some of the uh, highlights and things we're hoping for but this is really just a fun pack break uh, from my secret Santa who is also my son who was born in 1990 and so uh, these packs I collected and they have special um, sentimental value for me It'd be a very nostalgic trip down memory lane for when I was first opening them up uh, we're gonna start with I'm going to go in kind of date order. Uh, so we'll start with the 1990 score football. And as I'm going through, I can uh, share stories about what it was like. We are looking for uh, Emmett Smith rookie card and a Cortez Kennedy rookie card and uh, Joe Montana number one card. And that's because they, uh, the 49ers won the Super Bowl in 1990, early 1990 against the Broncos. And um, so number one card, they go in order of the uh, teams, the rankings of the teams. Of course, number one would be the Super Bowl winner, 49er, number two would be the Broncos. And uh, so the other cards we're looking for, Junior Seau rookie card, Barry Sanders, Jerry Rice, Bo Jackson, Deion Sanders, Lawrence Taylor, um, rookie, or not rookie cards, but just player cards. Um, basically the Hall of Fame lineup for NFL football from the late 80s and early 90s. So we'll start and enjoy these thoroughly and we'll see what we get. The score of football cards, there was 660 total cards. 330 in the first set, 330 in the last set. And uh, speaking of Lawrence Taylor, this is the number 50 card. And that actually is possibly worth up to $10 in perfect condition. PSA graded 10 at um, and I could sell it on eBay for maybe $10 that's awesome all right what else Bobby a bear uh, for the Saints he was quarterback for the Saints he was also in the USFL I think for the Pittsburgh Panthers Pittsburgh it's taking me back Frank Menefield Jerry Gray, Jacob Green, and then they have a nice lenticular card in there. Super Bowl trivia. Let's take it. Three teams have made only one appearance in the Super Bowl and won their games. Name two of them. Well, it could be the 
Chiefs, who up until that time, which was um, right before Super Bowl 25, Chiefs, Vikings, let's look. Jets, of course, Bears in 20, and Giants in 21. That, of course, has changed considerably in the last 30 years since Super Bowls 25 through 54. Mel Gray, Tim McGee, Myron Guyton, Kyle Clifton, Andre Reed, Tim Worley for Pittsburgh, Johnny Rimber, Rimber, Rimbert from for the Patriots, and you can see that they had their old helmets on. It wasn't old then. Earl Farrell for the St. Louis Cardinals. Phoenix, they were Phoenix by then. Andre Ware, 1990 rookie. Um, it's a rookie, but it's nothing special there. Jerry Rice card. That number 200 is also a nice card. And Anthony Munoz. Anthony Munoz's brother cut my hair before I was married in 1988. He was a hair stylist. Oh, Jerry Rice is also a desirable card there. Put that in there. So that's actually a not bad break. Let's try the second from series one. Dino Hackett from the Chiefs. Robert Perryman from the Patriots. Derek Hill from the Steelers. Ricky Dixon from the Bengals. Dennis Gentry from the Bears. Uh, another lenticular. Who has coached the most Super Bowl teams? Bud Grant, Don Shula, Tom Landry, or Chuck Knoll? By that time, it would have been Chuck Knoll, I think. Um, Shula was six. Oh yeah, because he was in the uh, he coached the Colts in the seventies. Um, Dolphins four times. Got that wrong. Tim Crumry, the Bengals. Uh, Chef Eulen Hake, Dolphins, Benny Blades, I remember that. That was a great name for a football player. Jim Covert for the Bears. Chris Dolman for the Vikings. Gerald Riggs for the Super Bowl team Redskins. Thurman Thomas. Joe Montana. That is not the one that's hottest, because that would be card number one. This is card number 311. Tony Manderich for the Packers. Trace Armstrong, Bears, and Audre Bruce for Atlanta. Cool. Next one. This is still series one. Hope you can tell that this, I find this very interesting, very nostalgic. Running down memory lane. Bobby Humphrey for the Jets. That's a cornerback, not the running back for the Broncos. Herschel Walker for the Vikings. Felix Wright for the Browns. Rich Camarillo, kicker for the Cardinals. We'll save this. Anthony Tony for the Eagles. Dave Brown, Packers, Freddie Joe Nunn, defensive end for the Cardinals, Chris Jackie, or Jack, kicker for the Packers, Andre Risen, he was a wide receiver for the Colts, Chris Hinton for the Colts, Chris Hinton was the number one pick in the 1983 draft, um, he was a linebacker, oops, d defensive tackle, and he was picked by the Broncos and then traded to the Colts for John Elway, a player that nobody's heard from since. Ben Smith, this is uh, his rookie card, he played for Georgia. Dan Marino, hot gun. Bo Jackson, ground force. 
Rich Carlos for the Vikings. And of course, um, he was the kicker for the Broncos for many, many years. Tim Green for Atlanta. And Lewis Oliver for the Dolphins. Here is the Super Bowl trivia. Who is the winningest coach in Super Bowl history? Chuck Knoll, Don Shula, Bill Walsh, or Tom Landry? So Chuck Knoll at this point was the uh, winningest coach going 4-0 in his four appearances with the Steelers. Okay, that was fun. All right, Series 2. Notice they have different players on these packs. This one is... Vance Johnson from the Broncos is one of the three amigos, the wide receivers that were so successful for John Elway. And uh, the other thing about these were that you could see through the backs. So that drove some shopkeepers crazy as people were trying to make sure that they didn't get the same cards over and over again, but also because there was a lot of repetition between the packs, they were almost identical but also to see if they had something super special. You could see the card number here, like this is 544, and I can see the Broncos helmet, so it probably has something to do with the Super Bowl. We'll find out. Meanwhile, I can remember doing just that. There we go. Right, the card is 544, Mr. Clarence K, tight end. So I remember him well. Clarence K, tight end for the Broncos. Leonard Marshall for the Giants. Joe Kelly for the Bengals. Actually, I'm gonna take this, pull this out because there was some holes in my uh, collection of the Broncos and there was no such thing as eBay. You couldn't fill those holes with somebody else who collected it from somewhere else in the country. That may be something that's in my binder that's an open space and I can just fill that in. Nick Lowry kicker for the Chiefs, Lewis Billups for the Bengals, Scott Davis, Raiders, Ken Sims for the Patriots, All-Pro Jay Hilgenberg, he was a center, yep. uh, center in the Super Bowl 20 when the Bears beat the Patriots, Maurice Carthen for the Giants, Heath Sherman Philadelphia. Bill Romanowski for the San Francisco 49ers and then later on went to work for the Broncos. Vince Buck, 1990 rookie. Keith McCants, 90 rookie. Carwell Gardner, rookie. Sean Jones for the Oilers. Jerry Robinson for the Raiders. Finally, the Vance Johnson cover for the Series 2. These are high number cards for score. Score was a lot better quality and didn't have gum, unlike the Tops, which had the license back in the um, 80s for, and 90s for the football cards as well as baseball cards. Um, these were much higher quality, although they're kind of bent up, you know, because they've been uh, rolling around in boxes for the last 30 years. Ricky Jackson, Roy Green, Cardinals, Michael Brooks, Broncos. Again, we'll put that off to the side. Uh, Ron Holmes for the Broncos. EJ Jr., the Dolphins. Hardy Nickerson for the Steelers. Albert Lewis, cornerback. The Chiefs, remember that. Sean Landetta, kicker for the Giants. Keith Jackson, tied in for Philly. Mike Kinn, Atlanta. Brian Hinkle for the Steelers. Keith DeLong for the Niners. Byrne Brostick, center for the Saints. No, that's not. He is not. He's a rookie. So he actually went to work for, the, uh, who knows? Matt Barr, kicker for the Browns, I know that. Mari Buford for the Bears, and Tracy Rocker for the Redskins. 
some fun Broncos in there, which always makes me happy. And a whole stack of these cards. I have even more, but this is fun like I've never even opened them before. All right, Hockey 9091. Okay, there are a bunch of things that we are looking out for, including several Wayne Gretzky cards. Um, Jaromir Jager was a rookie. He has a rookie card there. And uh, other names to look for, Felix Potvin, Scott Niedermeyer, Brett Hull, Darren Turcott, Steve Eiserman, Theo Fleury. Uh, Theo Fleury because he later became a star on the Avalanche before this, or after this pack ever came out. Jeremy Rennick, Mark Ricci, Ricci, Joe Sackick, Mark Messier, Patrick Waugh, Sergei Fedorov, Pavel Burr, Peter Bondra, Brett Hull, and as I said, Wayne Gretzky has several cards in here that are highly desirable. The pack is very strange, it's kind of a foil pack, but it is, it's almost brittle now with age. Okay. Oh, this weird offset there. A rookie, Eric Weinrich. We'll leave our score football cards. Gary Volk, Young Guns, Trevor Linden, Rob DeMaio, Carl Dikas, World Junior Champions, Scott Stevens for the Capitals, uh, Dave Mc McLuhan, Jets. Um, and this is actually not the Winnipeg, you know, it's, it was the Winnipeg Jets, the original Winnipeg Jets. Jim Schoenfeld, Heroes of the NHL. Bob Beers for the Bruins. Paul Reinhardt for the Canucks. Ed Olchick for the Jets. And also for the Jets, Doug Smale. Awesome. Okay. So we have three packs of these. This is pack number two. Weirdly brittle packaging. Brian Fogarty for the Quebec Nordiques. Now the Colorado Avalanche. They moved in 1996. And what's fun about not only this card, uh, but uh, its connection with this year, the Colorado Avalanche have gone retro with their uh, outfits, the complete uniforms, including white tops and blue shorts underneath uh, or over their pants. So the Avs, Colorado Avalanche, have taken to wearing the Quebec Nordiques outfits just like this. All right, Ulf Dahlen, Gary Suter, the Calgary Flames, Johan Garpenloff, Kirk McLean, Gary Lehman, Robert Cron, Pittsburgh, John Ogdranek, Ogdranek for the Rangers, Doug Wilson for the Blackhawks. And this is the Canada's Captains for Team Canada. Chris Draper, Stephen Rice, and Eric Lindros. Jeff Cortnall for the Capitals. Paul McDonald for the Jets. They almost fall apart to open them. This is a one-off, well, this is a sticker. It's like a lenticular sticker, but you can't really tell what's on it. I don't know if that's rare, um, but I can't even tell what it's supposed to be because all it says is Hockey Superstars Upper Deck Company NHL 1990. Huh, well, that's super fun. Sorella for the Rangers.
for the Nordiques. Rick Toche for the Flyers. Robert Reichel, Young Guns. Hartford Whalers. Randy Cunnyworth. Hartford does not exist anymore. It's now like, I can believe the Calgary Flames. Brian Leach, Rangers. Vladimir Ruzica, Bruins. Dave Gagne for the Minnesota North Stars, which also does not exist anymore. Todd Elick for the Kings. Trevor Kidd, World Junior Champion, uh, Champions. Dave Chizowski, or Kazowski, New York Islanders. And finally, Frank Selke Trophy winner for the St. Louis Blues. Rick Meager, forward. Very cool. I was really looking forward to seeing, reliving the memories of 1990s hockey, but uh, we didn't get any of the uh, rookies. We did get this really weird kind of lenticular that may have just fallen apart due to age. That'd be interesting to find out. I will do some research. All right, now, we are going to do the Topps Stadium Club 1990 Premier Edition. This is actually the first edition of the Topps Stadium Club cards. Uh, Upper Deck started with the premium cards without the gum and so forth in 89. In 1990, Leaf followed with their, from Donruss and then Fleer in 91. Then this came out. What we're looking for in here, hopefully we find a Nolan Ryan, Ken Griffey Jr., Jeff Bagwell rookie card, David Justice rookie card, Travis Fryman rookie card, Bo Jackson, Ricky Henderson, or Don Mattingly. So let's see if we get any of these. Well, this is all kind of backwards, so. Does not seem to have done anything to it. But it may take a while to pry these apart. Bob Walk, Pittsburgh. Randy Reddy, Philadelphia. Dave Magadan, Dave Magadan for the Mets. Mark Grace, the Cubs. Mark Guthrie. Minnesota. Lance Dixon. L Lynn Dykstra. Chris Sabo for Cincinnati. Stadium Club membership. I think it's probably too late to apply. Carlos Bayerga for Cleveland. Greg Briley. I don't know why to bend that up. Rafael Ramirez. And Jesse Barfield. Okay, none of those other names that we're looking for, but some recognizable ones. Here's our next package. Next and last package, we get two of these. And it's funny how they do these backwards, so. Sean Abner. Robin Ventura, he's around for quite a while. Rex Hudler. Randy Milligan. Lee Smith for St. Louis. Will Clark, San Francisco. He was also around for quite a while. Tom Browning, did well into the 90s. Dave Valley, another club membership. Mike Sosha, Dodgers. Matt Williams. Steve Sachs, 
and Steve Balboni. New York. Okay, so that was fun. Now, unfortunately, we only have two more packs left. Donruss Baseball 93. These are Series 2. So the cards in 93 that we're looking for is Frank Thomas, Craig Biggio, Roger Clemens, Mike Piazza, rated rookie card. That'd be great. Um, but those are um, probably Series 1 because those are under 300. Ricky Henderson is 315. Nolan Ryan, Ken Griffey Jr., Cal Ripken, Ch uh, Chipper Jones, rated rookie card. And Barry Bonds. Let's see if we get any of those. Butch Henry. Um, this is ah the 1990 expansion draft. He went. He was a, with Houston. Went to the Rockies. So he was one of the first pitchers for the Rockies in their inaugural season, which was '93. Mike Fitzgerald. Chris Donalds, the Mets. Nigel Wilson. Here's a Diamond Kings. Eric Karros. Walt Whitehurst. New York. Kevin Seitzer. Chris James. Wondering if they'll have any Rockies or Devil Rays. Your expansion teams in 93. Uh, Greg Gore. Rated rookie. Scott Fletcher, Tom Gordon, Mark McLemore, Kent Bottenfield, Mike Benjamin. So Butch Henry, that's fun. All right, let's see what else. Jack Armstrong, Butch Henry again, Mike Fitzgerald, Chris Donalds, Pete Incavalia, Mike Munoz, Detroit. He's also with Dodgers, but I think he went on play for someone else. Padres, Jim Pena, Giants, Gary Thurman, Charlie Lee Brandt, the Braves, John Flaherty, Dave Cochrane for Seattle, Mike Boddicker for Kansas City, Damian Easley running and losing his helmet, Rich Monteleone. All right, that was the last card, so he has the honor of being the last one. He's a pitcher for the Yankees. Okay, we got a couple of Butch Henrys from the Rockies. I got to give them credit. They didn't know who was going to be on the Rockies. These were the guys that were taken in the expansion draft. So they only had a couple of cards. All right. That was really fun. I uh, got to see a lot of things from the early 90s uh, when I was watching sports avidly uh, with my baby son. <laughs> Just to embarrass him. All right. Thanks for watching.